Welcome to the Texans Corner. I'm your host, Sabluka. I'm going to take a seat, grab a drink, grab something to eat. That being said, we've got another unboxing video for you all. No clickbait here, especially in relation to unboxings. Even the model number shall be depicted. If this is 10 years later, congratulations. If I still exist on the tube, I'm in amazement. Enough diddle daddling around. Let's have a look at another budget orientated PSU, essentially for use and for a client of mine that needs a replacement. So let's go. Alrighty, so keeping that in mind, if you're interested in powering things without the right power supply, you may need one of those adapters. Suss out the Technus Corner. All you have to do is subscribe. It's free. It shows your support for free, and I appreciate it immensely. Keeping that in mind, back to what we are discussing today is not janky adapters attached to power supplies, but what is a budget-orientated crossing our fingers safe, reliable and efficient entry-level power supply option. I'll bring the box a bit closer so it's a bit clearer. You know, it's, it's a very small box considering for the power supply. MSI MAG or MSI MAG A650BN is the power supply name or title and it's a 650 watt 80 plus bronze power supply. It's going in the computer behind me over there. Eventually, you're welcome to join me there as well. Another video in relation to the tech consult will be available soon as well. So a couple of other things we need to get done before we can get this in the case. That's why we're unboxing it now. I'm going to have to excavate that case and the dead power supply in there, essentially. And honestly, as a 650 watt power supply entry level, it just has the basics of what needs to be covered and what's necessary. It's not a modular power supply. It's a non-modular power supply. So it has all the cables connected and whatnot. That's never a bad thing, especially when eventually in these budget oriented power supplies, you probably need all the cables connected for running everything on the whole, very close to the distant future. You will need that extra state of cable anyway. Now giving it a bit of a rundown, compact box it is got the 80 plus certification also it's got a limited warranty but that limited warranty is for five years as well so let's pop that down there and a bit more of a backdrop on the psu before we open it up and just verify that everything doesn't look too janky janky itself and is of a you know decent quality so just to give it a bit of a backdrop features it includes is overheat protection over current protection, over voltage protection, over power protection, short circuit protection, 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 protection on a single 12 volt rail, DC to DC technology, although it is a non-modular power supply. With a limited warranty of five years, it does have what we will set out to utilize all of in the build behind us, which is in relation to 124 pin ATX, 14 pin section, 18 pin EPS 12 volt. The EPS 12 volt A pin is two by fours, and that's for your CPU power. That's something always to consider because on the budget entry level power supply, such as this one, which runs you up a total of approximately 85 Australian dollars, only has one. And sometimes you may need two. On the motherboard to power the CPU, you may need a four and an A pin or two A pins. And that's something you don't want to skimp out on. You need, that's one thing you need to check in relation to what power supply you need. Apart from then as well, the rating on, as a hint, the rating on and TDP draw, generally speaking, on the CPU, as well as that of the graphics card combined, will give you roughly and generalistically the amount that you should then be about 100 to 300 watts under, because you have to accommodate for all your peripherals, as well as all your hard drives and SATA connections. And if you still have a Molex, speaking of Molex, there's two Molexes available in this. So five SATAs, as well as two PCIe for your graphics card connectors, PCIe A pins or six 
plus twos. So that's another reason we needed to get this graphics card, that old power supply, regardless of the fact that it doesn't work properly anymore anyway, only had a six spin. Another thing that you should look into is check that video out in relation to adapters and whatnot. Uh, it also talks about trying to power an eight pin with a six pin. And if it works, congratulations. Otherwise, good luck. It may end up causing your house to burn down completely. So cross your fingers, it never does. But perhaps listen to the advice there. If you're in doubt, head there next. Binge out a little bit. It's a short 10 minute episode. And yeah, so enough said with that. What else can I say about the power supply from what we need to at least assert? The DC to DC circuit design, as mentioned. It's also got a low noise fan, 120 millimeter fan. So according to marketing material produced by MSI, it's got favorable reviews, but they do suggest that it's a great starting point for people looking into do it yourself computers gamers can immediately enjoy a reliable performance experience without additional settings required so that being said there's nothing more to the power supply except they didn't mention it whether it's got an on and off switch that's a thing from back in yesteryear some power supplies didn't actually have an on and off switch you just plugged in the cord and it went obviously it will so let's open it up and see what the damage was in relation to the 85 Australian dollar shield for this gentleman client of mine and start getting ready because I'm do need to speed this up so that I can get this computer finished and then start working on the videos you're probably watching. So let's go. Oakley Doakley. So let us get our trusted Technus Corner tool of the trade in relation to unboxings here it is yes i always mention it and this is a 387 gram steel unboxing tool and yeah it does the job very very well i'm very happy i got this purchase one of my favorites a little bit of damage on the box here unfortunately i also also has got a non-returnable sticker if the seal is broken that's always interesting because under warranty you'd assume you know but uh, let's open it up. I'm not expecting much, um, except what's been stipulated already. Safety first, people. And let's open up the box. What's in the box? In the box. In the box today. Ooh, la la. Can you smell it? Smell it. Can you smell it? It smells like MSI. So first things first, we are greeted with user guide. You can get this online, uh, power supply, important information. Lots of regulatory notice stuff. So we'll drop that there, drop that there. What else we got in here? We've got ourselves a very pliable, although slightly short from the looks of things, power cable. And everything else seems to be neatly packaged and if we grab it so elegantly, flip it like so, have a look under there. There's some screws, the screws needed, just randomly placed like that. You could easily misplace those. Silica bag, don't use that please for anything except back in the box. And let's open up this right now. Bit of foam, not too much there. Not too much there, explains why it's such a small package. Normally there's a lot more of that. Manuals back in the box. Power supply for the time being cable back in the box because I've got one connected. And that shall just go over here because I shall be using it very soon. That being said, let us have a look here. And we've got ourselves our MSI mag A650 packaged in a what is a plastic bag, frankly, not anything um specific for it it seems they're just like get a bag pop it on oh it's got it's got a peel on it as well y'all i'm feeling excited drop that just there bag wise i will pop everything back for the client so he can get the new experience as well if necessary we'll pop that like so and that being said what do we got here very much open on the back side, 
for breathing, breathability, very open uh, compared to normal. And calcifer on the other hand, front sides are peeled just here. I shall be peeling that because this part is actually going to be facing down closer towards the CPU and intaking a fair amount of air. So that being said, 80 plus bronze specification over here as well. 650 watt on the 12 volt, rated on the whole lot, 110 on the 5 volt and the 3.3 volt slash loadings. And on the 12 volt, there's a total on a single rail with uh, of 54.0 amps registering. Okay. On the side here, there's also insignia. This will be facing like that for the customer. Uh, so they essentially will see this with all this hanging down. I'm not gonna, I've got no way of hiding this stuff in the back of the case. So let's have a look at the leads and what we actually have attached to it because all of that's going to be loosey-goosey in the case I'm going to have to deal with it. On the other hand, clicky, clicky, on and off switch. Everything seems in order here, y'all. And I'm going to give it the customary peel seal of approval for the time being. If we can just seal, get the seal. If I can just get it. Alrighty, let's get that opened up and sealed. There we go. The Emerside Dragon has been unleashed. Watch out for the dragon. It rains on the fire. Fire uppercut. Let's open up and unleash the non-modular nature of this power supply as well. Hopefully, it's not a large case. One thing you want to look out for is how long that CPU rail is. So that being said, here's the 24 pin off to the side. Let's have a closer look at what we got here that we need to essentially hide. The girth, by the way, the girth of this cabling, the Herb and Mustard ones over there seem a little bit thicker, frankly. But that being said, SATA 1, 2, Molex 1, small Molex for the floppy. I'm just thinking about the hard drives and how they're going to be positioned. There is four hard drives in this case. So that means that it's got a split and the other two SATA connections to the hard drives will be here uh, with a Molex and a third SATA. Problem is the connection to, to the disk drive may be an issue to reach, surprisingly. So that's a limitation. That's something to consider and, and be looking at and be vigilant about. Said we've got one, what is the split, uh, four pin and four pin. So the one single EPS rail, 12 volt rail to power the CPU. Remember you need to check at times whether you've got a requirement for more of those. That's another thing to look at. And then here we got, we got one, it's doubled up. So there's a bit more girth to the cabling, but there's essentially one rail with two six to eight pins for powering the GPU, which in this case requires one A pin. So we're set, we're decked, we're decked all out. That being said, let's um, pop that back like so. And yeah, y'all, let me uh, get back eye to eye with you all. So with that being said, all that sort of devoured by you all, you probably got enough information to decide whether it's an applicable purchase for you all. The MSI MAG or MSI MAG A650BN 650 watt 80 plus bronze power supply has been unboxed. Thanks for joining us at the Technus Corner and peace out y'all. Bye. Don't forget to sub, please. I appreciate it. It's free. Bye.